Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm here today to talk to you about my struggles getting Outlook calendar sharing to work with some websites that give me a URL to paste in somewhere. And what I've done historically is pasted them into this, which is my Outlook desktop client calendar. And the way you would do that is you go to Open Calendar here from internet and you would paste the URL in there like that and then you click OK but I'm not going to do that because that seems to cause problems I'm not sure why but OK um, I could also go over here to shared calendars right click come down to add calendar from internet get exactly the same thing I'm not going to do that that seems to cause some issues I understand from research due to the way that Microsoft has changed their processing approach. Okay, fine. Um, there is a better way. I'm going to go to my web view. This is the same calendar seen from the web server somewhere in the cloud that is operated by Microsoft. And it's Office 365. All of the things on my desktop are really just mirror images of this anyway. And so if I really want to add something and have it work well, it does make sense to do it at the source, which is what I'm going to talk to you about now. So I'm going up here at the top of this screen, and I'm going to click Add Calendar from Internet. And here is a link to the calendar box that opens up, a little dialog box. I'll paste in my link. I'll give it a name, which is... Um, is a link to a Kanban board calendar on a website that we're working on so I'll close that and now that's been added over here to the other calendars in my internet view my web view and also uh, if things are working right yep it's been added here to my desktop pretty quickly and if I click that what I see here then is the I've got two items on there for some reason. I've got the uh, thing that I asked for, and if I click on this little arrow right here, that will get overlaid, and I'll get a similar view to this view. Still doesn't work perfectly, but I think that's partly to do with how the other calendar is set up. Anyway, that, that works. That keeps it working. What I've also found is that if... Um, since I don't want to have all of these open on my desktop at one time, it's useful to me, you may not want to do this, to have both of these calendars open, drag this across to the main calendar, close the one that you opened that you linked to, and most of the time those stay linked to the original and they'll move with the original, although you can't really rely on that. However, it's a bit of a workaround. It's good enough for what I need to do, which is to see everything in one place. I hope that's useful for you. If so, please click like or share, and I'll see you next time.